Welcome back to my series on having a narc-free new year. And this is a series where I read from my book, Healing from Narcissistic Abuse, Recover from Empathy Deficient Relationships and Emotionally Unavailable People. If you want the information about this book, links will be down below. And if you want to get more on this series, then watch to the very end and you can click on through to those videos. With that said, let's get on with it. Page 109 from Chapter 5 on Healing Relationships, Creating Healing Relationships. The Wake Up Call. Some of you might be great supply sources, excellent sources for all things that the narcissist in your life desires. Once we realize that we're just supplied to them and they'll simply go get it from another source as soon as we no longer provide it, well, it's a tough pill to swallow. There's a quote that says, a narcissist doesn't want your love. They don't know what love is. They want your admiration and your obedience as a player in their make-believe world. Another quote I love from Teal Swan, which I say a lot, by the way, and it's here in the book, love is taking another person's best interest as your own. <gasps> All right, that's my cat. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed that. She's a little frisky today. But back to the book. Uh, once you realize that in the mind of the narcissist, you are merely a tool to be used for them to get their needs and desires met, then you start seeing things a lot more clearly. You come out of the fantasy land, the illusion that they fed you when they were love bombing you about being the ideal person or partner or whatever, fill in the blank. And you start seeing things very clearly. You get a wake up call. It's quite sobering to realize that narcissists see people very differently than others because they're lacking in empathy. They don't have a healthy sense of shame. They like who they are because who they are is very effective in getting their needs met. Another quote, Narcissists are like parasites. Their intentions towards others isn't to empower, but to disempower. Once you get that wake up call and you decide to go no contact, it's a very painful decision because what it took to bring you to this realization, to make this decision has probably been through a series of deep disappointments, which made it abundantly clear that you have to face the inevitable failure of this relationship's ability to ever satisfy your emotional needs. If you're interested in purchasing this book, Healing from Narcissistic Abuse, Recover from Empathy Deficient Relationships and Emotionally Unavailable People, remember it is on Kindle ebook version. You can get it on audiobook at Audible, and you can also get it in print at amazon.com. And for those of you who like to sit back and watch and listen, well, I've got the video version over at my Etsy shop. Links for all of these are going to be found down below. And if you wanna watch the next video available on narcissism, click here. Thank you all for your support.